In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a quiz in Lifter LMS. So the first thing you want to do is go to the back end of your website. Under Courses, you'll find Quizzes. And let's add a new quiz. And we'll call this LMS Test. And this quiz is designed to test your knowledge. So this is like a quiz description. You could put any kind of content here, uh, just kind of an opener about the quiz or the purpose of the exam or the assessment. So after that, we're going to allow, uh, let's just say for our purposes, five attempts on this quiz. We're going to require a 100% to pass, which means that you have to get all the questions right in order to advance to the next lesson or complete this lesson. And I'm going to put a time limit in terms of one minute because I'm going to do a really quick uh, one question quiz. And you can randomize the answers if you want, which means if different people are taking it on different machines, the answers may be in a different order. So I'm going to go ahead and add a question here. And I don't have any created yet, so I need to do that. So first let me publish my quiz and then over here in quiz questions I'm gonna create one here so this question is LMS software question one and my question is going to be what is the best LMS online course or membership site software out there today? And you could put a video in here, which would be a great way to ask an engaging question if you wanted to. So I'm gonna add a, a new uh, question answer. So this one, is lifter LMS and that is the correct answers by the way you can also put HTML in here if you want really fancy kind of answers like images or something else like that and I'm gonna add a, another one that is not the correct answer I'm gonna just say something else and I'm going to publish that. And if we go back to our quizzes, you can see in the LMS test that we want to add the quiz question. So let's add that one, LMS software question one. And we'll just weight it with one point. And we're going to hit update. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to assign this quiz to a particular lesson. So let's go to this lesson here, lesson two. And you'll see this will change from mark complete to something else once we attach a quiz to it. So if we go here on that lesson and we click on quiz, oh, this is a free lesson. So let me first undo that and then go to the quiz here and we're going to add that LMS test quiz to this lesson and uh, this this checkbox means you you have to get the passing percentage which we set at a hundred percent on the quiz in order to complete this lesson so let's hit update and see what that looks like on the front end of the website so I'm just gonna go on over to the course and I've completed lesson one. You can see that I, that's checked off. If I were to go into that lesson, you can see the lesson is complete. But now when I go to lesson two, I scroll down and there's a, instead of saying mark complete, it says take quiz. So I can click on that and it says, uh, the quiz is called LMS test and a score of a hundred or more is required to pass this test. Attempts remaining, I've got five attempts and this is the description here. This quiz is designed to test your knowledge. So I'm going to click Start Quiz. 
and you can see the timer is counting down here. So my question is, what is the best LMS online course or membership site software out there today? Of course, that's Lifter LMS, and I'm going to complete quiz. Congratulations. I completed lesson two. I got 100%, and there's just more information there, so I can move on to the next lesson. So now I'm on a new lesson, lesson three, which currently does not have a quiz. And um, if you wanted to make it so that it was not possible to see lesson three until you successfully passed lesson two's quiz, then you'd, be, you'd wanna be sure to set lesson three as having a prerequisite as lesson two. So just to show you a little bit more advanced tips and tricks with Lifter LMS quizzes, you can also have these explanation fields uh, filled out for each question. So if I select the correct answer, the explanation field is, of course. And then uh, if someone selects the wrong answer here, I just have a message that will display saying, what are you thinking? And so I'm gonna update that. And if I go on, go on over to the quiz and I look at the results options here, I can enable more advanced features by opening this up here. And do I wanna show the correct answer on incorrect questions? Yes. Do I wanna dis display a message that I just put in there on a per question basis if the learner got the question wrong and if they got the question right. So that makes your quizzes a little more interactive and that's just a pro Lifter LMS quiz uh, tip for you for those of you who wanna take your quizzes to a more advanced level. So that's a quick introduction to Lifter LMS quizzes.